Hello friends, once again I am back with number of squares but this time I am going to talk about number of squares in a rectangular grid. And let's again start with a simple example. If I ask you a question, how many squares are there in this 2 by 1 rectangular grid? The answer is very simple. There are only 2 squares and both squares measures 1 unit by 1 unit. But in case if a question comes, find the number of squares in this rectangular grid which is 5 units by 4 units. The question is going to be challenging. In this video, this is what we are going to talk about. How to find number of squares in such rectangular grids. And again, we'll take few examples and we'll generalize it in the end. And starting with a 3 by 2 rectangle, let's try to understand what are the different kinds of squares which we have in this rectangular grid. The biggest square will be 2 units by 2 units. We cannot have any square bigger than this because the width is 2 units. And the smallest square obviously will be 1 unit by 1 unit. Now let's take the observations. How many 1 by 1 squares will be there? There will be 3 1 by 1 squares along the length and there will be two one by one squares along the width so total number of one by one squares will be three by two and the number of two by two squares let's see how many maximum squares can be adjusted in a width only one and along the length we can have two so the total number of two by two squares will be equal to two multiplied by one which will be equal to two so the number of total number of squares will be equals to 8 in this case. Let's take another example. Now another example we have a rectangular grid which has dimensions 6 units by 4 units and let's see what are the different kinds of squares which we can have in this rectangular grid. The smallest will obviously be 1 unit by 1 unit and the biggest will be 4 units by 4 units which means we will have 1 by 1, 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 4 by 4 squares in this rectangular grid but now question is how many such squares and let's try to find the answer first of all we'll start with 1 by 1 squares and we know that there are 6 1 by 1 squares along the length and 4 1 by 1 squares along the width total number of such 1 by 1 squares will be 6 multiplied by 4 which is 24 and let's start with 2 by 2 squares. How many 2 by 2 squares along the length? Let's observe. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And how many such 2 by 2 squares along the width? 1, 2, 3. Which means the total number of 2 by 2 squares must be equal to 5 multiplied by 3 which is 15. Now let's take a bigger square that is 3 by 3 units. Yeah, in 3 by 3 units Along the length, we can have maximum of 4 such squares and along the width, we can have 2 such squares. It means the total number of 3 by 3 squares will be 4 multiplied by 2, that is 8. And if I take 4 by 4 square, how many 4 by 4 squares will be there? Let's see, there will be how many along the length? 1, 2 and 3. And how many along the width? only one it means three units by one unit so this is how we are going to find the number of squares in a rectangular grid with the different sizes now one more example but in this case what I want is I want you people to pause this video and take the observation quickly I hope you must have taken all the observations. The smallest one will be 1 unit by 1 unit and the biggest of course will be equal to 4 units by 4 units because this rectangle has the smaller side is 4 units and the longer side is 5 units. So means the biggest square will be 4 by 4, smallest will be 1 by 1 and these are the observations which you will obtain please cross check your observations in case wrong again pause it again try to find out and 1 by 1 will be 4 multiplied by 5 2 by 2 will be 
one two three along the length and along the width one two three four means total will be equal to three multiplied by four let's take three by three units and three by three how many one two along the length and one two three along the width total will be three multiplied by two which is six and last but not the least four by four along the length there will be one and width one two which means we will have two multiplied by one or one multiplied by two only two four by four squares and if we solve it we will get 40 squares different squares with different sizes but our purpose is not to discuss the individual cases we need to generalize it we need to generalize the method we need to generalize the formula and let's do that with on the basis of our previous and these were our observation the first rectangular grid which i took was three units by two units second was six by four and last was four by five let's make the observations on the basis of this table if you observe the maximum number of squares will be one by one units and these will always be equal to the length into width of the rectangular grid which we have taken in first case it is 3 by 2 in second case it is 6 by 4 in third case it is 4 units by 5 units and if you observe gradually if we go down the table is there any pattern which we can observe exactly the pattern is that the number of squares along the length and along the width are reducing by one each. Three by two will become two by one, six by four will become five by three, then four by two, then three by one. This process will continue till we get one along the smaller side of the rectangular grid. Yes, and in third case also, four by five will become three by four, and then two by three, and then one by two as the size of rectangle increases. One more important observation in all the cases, the difference the difference of these two numbers will always remain a constant in first case the difference is equal to one which is also difference between the number of sides of the rectangle second case the difference between these two numbers five minus three is two four minus two is two three minus one is two and difference of six and four is also two it will remain a constant here the difference will always be equal to one five minus four is one 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 unit one unit and this also difference is one unit on the basis of these observations now we are very clear one by one squares will be equal to m into n where m and n are the size of the rectangle and then gradually m and n will reduce by one unit as the size of square keeps on increasing on the basis of this observation i'm going to generalize it let's take one more example this is a four by seven rectangular grid how many one by one squares will be there obviously there will be four units by seven units and how many two by two grids will be there on the basis of our observations what i'm going to do is i'll reduce m and n by one unit here so three by six and this will become two by five this will become one by four it means in four by seven rectangular grid the number of squares which i have obtained will be equal to four into seven plus three into six plus two into five plus 1 multiplied by 4 now i have to write it in mathematical terms sum sum of certain terms can be expressed as summation so what i'm going to write is summation and summation of what the smaller side increases from 1 to to the measure of the smaller side of a rectangle if i take it as k so k will start from 1 and k will reach up to 4. Why 4 in this case? Because the smaller side was equal to 4 units. And now there is one more number in each term. And as I told earlier, the difference of these two numbers is always a constant. And in this case, the difference of these two numbers is 3. It is 3. And 3 is a difference between the sides of this rectangular grid. So here the number will be equal to k plus 3 and this will increase from 4 units to 7 units and the sum the summation of this will give me the answer now let's take m by n rectangle and let me consider that m is smaller than n and if m is smaller than n how will i express the number of rectangle the number of squares in this case again method is summation summation of k 
and k will start from 1 and will go up to the smaller side of this rectangular grid which is equal to m and in bracket what I need to write is I need to write k plus the difference of m and n and let us represent the difference of m and n with t and I will write here where t is equal to n minus m and friends this formula gives me the number of squares in a rectangular grid but mathematically we can further simplify this formula and let's try to simplify it we had number of rectangles in m by n grid where m is less than n is equal to summation k equals to 1 to the smaller side which is m k times k plus t and what is t? t is the difference of the bigger side to the smaller side and let us simplify let's try to simplify it if I simplify and open the bracket I will get k square plus kt and the summation laws of algorithm says that I can write this summation since t is a constant t can be written here k equals to 1 to m times k and if I use the formula the sum of squares of n the sum of squares of m natural numbers what is formula for sum of squares of m natural numbers m into m plus 1 2m plus 1 upon 6 and here we have sum of m natural numbers which is nothing but m into m plus 1 upon 2 and let's take common what is common m m plus 1 is also common and in denominator I can take 2 common what will I get after simplifying I will get m times m plus 1 upon 2 bracket 2m plus 1 upon 3 plus t and simplifying this bracket we'll get m times m plus 1 and here I'll get 2m plus 1 plus 3 times t upon 6 so friends this is the formula after generalizing this is the formula which we get you directly substitute the value of m and t what is t is the difference between the length and width of the given rectangular grid and m stands for the smaller side of rectangular grid so this was all about today's video if you like this video hit on like button subscribe to watch more videos next time i'll come with another interesting video for you people till then thank you and have a nice day